Hey, hey, welcome or welcome back. It is, as always, good to see you today. It is the day after Thanksgiving, otherwise known as Black Friday, which, thankfully, with online shopping, we don't need to battle at Walmart for TVs that are deeply discounted or video game consoles. At least most people, but there are still some fights that <laughs> break out. But anyway, I've been fighting with technology for the last 45 minutes, but I think we are recording now. We're going to hope so. And we are going to be looking at the truth as to why my ex won't talk to me anymore. And it is ended with an ellipsis plus one. We got four dots after it there. Yeah, this should be interesting. Why does wifey not want to talk to Amber Lynn? Well, I mean, this could really be any of her exes <laughs> at this point, but we're pretty sure it's wifey. So let's get into it. Alrighty, and if you are new here, first of all, welcome. Uh, I do speed Amber Lynn up to 1.25 speed because she speaks a little bit too slowly for me. So let's see what she's got to say. Hello, good morning. Good so morning. I just woke up, obviously got ready for the day. So Twinkie out, fed the fur babies. I'm actually gonna be spending the day with my mom, my grandma, and my mom's boyfriend. You guys think this is cute? That sounds lovely. This video was uploaded several days ago, uh, eight days ago, it looks like, so. Uh, do we think the hair's cute? Sure, whatever. Like, I just wanted my hair up. I was like, I need a moment with it, so I put like a small braid. I don't know, my hair is really frizzy. I need a moment with it. I don't know what that means. Right now, um, tomorrow is my hair washing day. Anyways, I want to show you guys what I've been doing when I'm like, okay, I'm hungry, but I don't want like a full meal. I'm hungry. But I do want, I need something, okay? I take some, oh, you guys can't even see me. <laughs> Let's move this like so. Hello, hello. So I take some lunch meat. I take some string cheese. Oh, wait, we can't forget. My most favorite drink in the whole world. If you guys have never had this, please get it for yourself. The Gatorade Zero and Glacier Freeze. I mean, I like Gatorades. I mean, it keeps you hydrated, I guess. Uh, I think the G2s don't have any added sugar. If this is a regular Gatorade, it's going to have a lot of added sugar, though. There's nothing else like it. So this is like my new favorite snack I'm ever. Oh my god. Um, it's just like straight to the point. I ain't got to think about it. I literally take this guy <laughs> and I wrap. You guys, I'm not joking either. I wrap some. Yeah, this is what's in her thumbnail. Her thumbnails are getting back to the trolling with putting food into her face. And the last couple of videos have been, like, very phallic-looking food. I mean, we had a pickle, now we have string cheese with turkey wrapped around, or chicken breast, I think, maybe. Which, I mean, this isn't a bad snack. You're going to have the fats and the protein. Um, Not many carbs in that, but... It'll be a nice, decent snack. I mean, cheese and meat. Chicken lunch meat, which this is like the only chicken lunch meat I will ever eat, which is the Oscar Mayer Deli Fresh Rotisserie Seasoned, because I'm really weird about lunch meat. I wrap it. Mmm. So good. I really don't know what it is, but... Sandwich without bread. I'm fixated on it, and I'm fixated on this. Okay, so I'm going to eat this, and then I'm going to take my trash out. Trash valley. Is that ADHD kicking in? It does come tonight, but I don't know if I'm going to be home in time to actually set the trash out. So I'm just going to walk it to the dumpster myself. Sometimes I do that. Yeah, valet trash is really nice. I had it at my apartment complex. Um, they put a bin by your front door and you just put your trash in it. And they come pick it up. Mine picked up, I think, every day except like Wednesday or something uh, during the week. Uh, they also picked up recycling, which was... It was great for me because my complex had a trash compactor on the back side of the complex so <laughs> I had to chauffeur my trash basically take my trash down to my car like put it in the trunk or the back of the car drive around to the trash compactor and put my trash in the compactor because uh, it was quite a walk across the complex and if you have a heavy trash bag you're not going to be walking a quarter of a mile carrying your trash bags um so the valet trash service was very nice, especially in the winter time, and especially for the recycling, because we didn't, we did have a recycle bin out back also by, by the trash compactor, um, 
but the valet trash is a very nice service. Uh, just saves time, makes it easier just to put your trash out. So, but yeah, like hers, she has a dumpster also that she can take trash to. We also had that at mine as well, um, with the trash compactor. Sometimes people though would just pile their trash up in front of it. If like it was running when they got there, they would just leave their trash in front of it. And then everybody else would end up leaving their trash in front because they thought it wasn't working and it was, just, oh. but yeah, the valet trash was very nice. <laughs> Oh my goodness, she's going to church again. Oh, life church. Oh, I might have to. This, this, this looks like a mega church. Church in the casino. This seems to be their Sunday activities. And we are back at my favorite casino game. Invaders from the planet Moolah. This is my absolute favorite. My best friend sent me a picture yesterday at one of the casinos in Colorado where he was getting ready to start playing playing this game. It's my favorite game at casinos. I love it. I'm rich, bitch. Also, at most casinos, you're not supposed to film, but sometimes you can get away with a picture. And if nobody's watching, you can you can maybe do a little short video. Y'all, I just won the jackpot. I won the major. Oh my! Nice. God, I did that. Okay, so I just got Better. back from just the whole day out. Went to church and then we went to the casino. It was actually for my grandma's birthday. Uh, my grandma's birthday was like over a week ago and she wanted to go to the casino. So we went there. I won the jackpot. It was like 650 something dollars, I think. I don't remember. But I was like so shocked. I was like, oh yeah. So that was a lot of fun. And instead of spending any of that, I just saved it. And then we went out to dinner and now I am back home. So at church today, there was a new uh, singer there and I like fell in love with her at instant glance. I was just like, oh my God, I could not stop looking at her while she was singing. I was like, okay. Well, look at that. Amber Lynn's got a new little crush. Christian singer perfection so that happened this was my third time i think going to church i've been just going you know just for in support of my mother uh, my beliefs have not changed i do not believe in god i do like going with her i love her and i'm not gonna lie even though the band is singing like about god and stuff i think they're amazing and i just like listening to the music so that's always nice baby boy why you licking me oh hey wasabi why you licking say i just a sweetie okay guys so it is the next day um, and I'm just doing some cleaning and this is just looks kind of like messy to me. Like what is even happening? Like how did this guy- I don't know why the- why the spray is just kind of chucked in there. I get over here tilted. I don't- Wow, always save. I haven't seen that brand in ages. Who even carries always save anymore? Wow, yeah, I haven't- Wow, I haven't seen always save in- forever no so i'm actually going to take one of these or maybe a couple and i'm gonna organize this to look a little better so here is the before all right it doesn't look that much better but it definitely helps with a little more organized you can see what you have didn't she have a little lazy susan spinny thingy for like the oils organization because every time I'd open this I'd be like yikes on bikes so it looks a little better so something I have to do literally every day is do this on my bed and on my couch because the cats have like their designated didn't she have that little brush thing that um did a lot better job of getting getting fur off my couch is very similar to this with the material same material and almost the same same couch get spots that they love and one of them is right here on my couch so it gets super furry so i have to do this every single day so i still haven't put away all of my clean clothes from when i went to the laundromat so 
I need to put away my laundry. I'll do that later today. I'm also doing that. No, oh, I wish I was joking. <laughs> I found someone's boxers in my clean clothes and someone's sock. Were they left in the dryer and you didn't notice? <laughs> so that happened. Someone's at home saying, where's my boxers? Where's my missing sock? Little do they know, Amberlynn Reed has it. So if you're missing those, let me know. When I tell <laughs> It would be hilarious if the person they belong to actually watches her and like, shit, that's where my boxers went. you, I'm addicted to thin pork chops in the air fryer. I'm not joking. And they're so thin and satisfying that I honestly don't even eat anything else with it. I'll just have the pork chop. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's so good. So I'm about to make four of them. So I just lay them out like that. I use garlic salt, which all my garlic salt is pretty much gone because this is actually a very embarrassing story. But one of the last nights that I got drunk, which I have not got drunk since I said I was gonna um, take a break, but I was like super drunk. Wait a minute, didn't she do some like drunken, oh, maybe the drunken Q and A's on Instagram were after this video was recorded. I, I thought I remember seeing something about that. I'm really bad at keeping up with her on Instagram. Super hungry. So I was like, I'm gonna make some garlic butter noodles. I'm also gonna use some black pepper. <laughs> I guess I wasn't paying attention. And instead of opening this little tab, I screwed off the whole lid and I poured the whole thing on the pasta. So I literally had to throw away the whole thing. Like it was just like a waste. It was wow. really sad and pathetic, but that's what happened there. And then I put it in the air fryer, plug her in. Like this is so simple, it's scary. So I put it on 400. And it usually takes like 14 to 15 minutes. That's all I do. But I will say once it's done, I let it sit for like 20 minutes. I know that sounds crazy. Then I eat it because I kind of like it at room temperature and not like freshly hot. Okay, so the pork chops have been done and sitting and now it's perfect. The pork chop dance. I just go through weird fixations. She does. It's very ADHD-esque. Um... I kind of do the same thing though. Sometimes I'll be on a kick with food and have the same thing for like a week. Then I'll change something else just because I'm like, oh, I really like this and I'll eat it and then I'll eat something else. And sometimes it's with food. You guys have seen that. Right now it's a pork chop moment. But really, I just want to come on here and tell you guys thank you so much, like truly from the bottom of my heart. Ever since I told you guys Chilly. I was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder and I opened up to you guys in my last video where I just had like a breakdown and I started crying. You guys have reached out to me and you have been so kind and supportive and I just appreciate it so much, like beyond belief. And so many of you are like sharing your own stories with me and it's just like, we're not alone. I promise we're not alone. And I know sometimes it truly feels like it but we're not. So this isn't really something that I wanna go into detail about, but a lot of people are asking, how did you hurt your ex by falling in love with someone else? Like you guys weren't together. Well, I mean, it, it seems kind of obvious. I mean, you just broke up. Maybe hoping things will get better. Maybe you can get back together if you still really love that person, but there were like external situations like Amberlynn, in my opinion, not doing any better with weight loss, not wanting to get better for herself or her relationship. I don't know. So obviously some of this is my story to tell, but just out of respect for all parties, um, I'm gonna be vague, but I do also want to just make a little bit clear that uh, I did hurt her because my ex wanted to possibly try to get back together. Uh, she wanted us to work on ourselves and possibly get back together one day. And normally right. that would have been something I would have jumped at like this. But when I fell in love, I continuously chose this other person over her and I was hurting her like really bad. A lot went down, a, a lot. But you were still hooking up with her. A lot of things happened, but at the time I thought I was choosing my happiness. And, you know, in my head I was like, I'm single, we're broken up for a reason. I remember telling my ex like, why don't we try Polly? That's never anything I would- <laughs> Oh. Oh, Amber. And she has said many, many times, no, I would never do Polly. I can't do that. I'm a one woman woman kind of thing. And then here she is because she wants to be with somebody else and wifey. Why don't we do Polly? I've ever suggested in the past, but she didn't even want to do that. And it's like, my ex loved me so much. And she so if this 
is the original, which it, it is the original wifey, there were some rumors that she was Polly. And I don't know where that rumor came from, and I'm not sure if it's true. I, I can't confirm or dispute it. Um, so I don't know. He really wanted to try to make it work, but I was repeatedly choosing another person over her. And that is the reason why that she does not want to speak to me anymore. And I just feel so bad for hurting her. I was just in a really confused spot and I thought I was doing the right thing initially. Because Amberlynn is selfish. I mean, basically that's it. She was hurt by wifey, I guess, wanting to end the relationship. And then Amberlynn's like, well, fine, I'll go on to someone else. And Amberlynn wants to have the control. She... It's just selfish in a relationship, it seems. And it was all about her and what she wanted. And she found this new shiny thing over here. This new person that she thought wanted to be with her. It's like, look, this person wants me if you don't. But then she's like, wait, I still love wifey. But I want, I want both kind of a thing. And it was very selfish. In the end, you guys are only hearing like 5% of the story. Out of 100%, because again, there are other parties, and just out of respect, I'm just not going to do that to them. It is the next day. It's actually morning time. I just woke up, but I went to get back in bed, and I see this little cat head. What are you doing? Aww. Oh, baby girl. Hey, Rarity. She's all wrapped up in the blankets. Isn't she the sweetest little baby? She's adorable. She's out of the blankets now, and she's like sketched out because the reason why she was hiding was because maintenance came. Brady and Wasabi, they go run in when someone, like a stranger, is in the house. And then Twinkie goes barking. But um yeah, I'm gonna get a little bit more sleep. I went to bed super late. Did they come to fix the dryer? Last night. I've been going to bed like at a decent time for me. But last night I stayed up a little later than I wanted to. And yes, I did me sleep too, in my girl, makeup. Me too. I've been doing that my whole life. Why are we going to complain and try to change now? That's really the least of my problems. But anyways, I do want to end this video because I do want to get this video up today for you guys. I hope that you guys did enjoy and I'll see you next one. Bye. Alrighty. Well, that's something. Um, well, I'm, I'm glad Amberlynn is enjoying her time with her mom and grandma and, and family down there and going out and doing stuff and having a good time. Um, that's very interesting that Amberlynn offered to be in a poly relationship. And just the fact that the this this other person was probably going to end up being long distance. But then the fact that wifey was also going to be moving somewhere else. It was like she wanted to still have that tie to wifey. So, I mean, would she have been okay with wifey dating someone else if they were in a poly relationship? Probably not. Um, but that is very interesting that she made that offer. <laughs> because Amberlynn is selfish and wants what she wants and that's all that matters. Oh my goodness. Anyway, um, I think that's all we got for you on this one. I hope you have an amazing day, an amazing weekend. And until next time, be safe and take care.